almost 13 years, we've been doing educational programming of all sorts. So this is not a production farm. That's one element of what we do, but it's an education farm and it's an engagement farm. We are, are pretty strong in our belief that this doesn't want to be the last farm in Orange County, right? It wants to be one of the first of a new generation. And in order to do that, you really got to train up a whole new crop of farmers. You know, it's not a skill set that most of us in Southern California grew up with. So the apprenticeship program is our program to educate and train the next generation of farmers in Southern California. We take on eight young folks who are interested in learning about farming, you know, who could have a variety of experience, whether it's background in environmental science or maybe just a real love for gardening, you know, whatever it is, but show a real passion for changing the food system in Southern California. What made me want to learn regenerative agriculture um, stems from a background in agriculture growing up as well as uh, in college studying sustainability at San Diego State. Really I saw my purpose and my passion align in more sustainable agriculture and I think it's something that we need to focus on more and it's something that we can give back and steward the land. I would say usually we get here pretty early and the propagation house will usually take a walk around and make sure all the plants are nice and watered and make sure there's no damage or just essentially like checking on and making sure they're all looking good and all happy. The other greenhouse is where we'll start it off with the seed and, and it slowly germinates. Once they get to a pretty good size or pretty good maturity, then we can move them in to the other greenhouse and then we can move them outside and we call it hardening off. So essentially getting it prepared to get planted during the week. So each rotation is two months and you might spend everywhere from all day with your team lead to just maybe a check-in at the beginning of the day and a check-in at the end because a lot of what we do here is learn by doing, kind of getting thrown into the situation with um, some basic knowledge but using your ingenuity, observation skills and you know being imbued with a sense of ownership over the space to kind of start to problem solve and um, get creative in your own ways. The main tasks that need to get done on a farm every day, primarily like water, cultivation, making sure everything's healthy. Once everything's healthy, you plant, harvest. We have chickens here, so making sure that the chickens are fed, the seeds are seeded well, the germination is good, and that food is moving through the system. The Ecology Center has such a diverse body of crops because we're trying to create a regenerative ecosystem. So we have bees and if we spread herbs over here and flowers over here and trees on a different corner of the property, the bees can come and pollinate everything. And we're giving things to the soil as well as taking out. But when you have one crop everywhere, you're sort of just taking one mineral or nutrient and not necessarily putting it back in at the same time. What are some of the perks of working at the Ecology Center? There is a lot being outside every day with the animals and the birds and the bees and just being able to walk the farm and eat a carrot and like, I don't know, it's really fun. And having access to local like fresh produce, like going home with the farm box every week, get to like bring home that to my parents, which is really cool. The skate ramp is a new addition to the farm, just in time for summer, summer camp. All the kids love it. It's just another thing on the farm that brings like a community together. So I don't know, you don't find that on every farm. So it's cool. You got all these little surfer grom kids that are, you know, eating vegetables and skateboarding. So it's pretty cool. Harvesting. So every day the, um, the head of vegetable production, they'll bring a list out and we'll have targets for each crop. So we might need 450 heads of lettuce and like 300 bunches of basil. So we'll harvest that depending on, on the needs in the farm stand and the, and the farm share program. Thinking about where it goes afterwards is really important too. You know, we have up to a thousand members in our farm share program. We also have our nourishing neighbors program. So it gets a lot of families in the community and that's really important for us. The Ecology Center definitely brings community here. I mean, people are always very interested in what's going on. I was in the kitchen rotation last, and any time I was making jam or lemonade, people would come up and ask questions and ask if you know we were going to be starting classes soon. So there's definitely a lot of community interest in being involved in everything that's going on here. The amount of work that goes into to the food that, that we eat, I've seen firsthand what it takes. And more than that, to grow it organically in a way that 
feeds the planet, feeds the environment. I want to work in plant breeding to reclaim our heritage of nutritious crops that we've lost over the years due to industrial agriculture. It's our first apprenticeship and it's, it's incredibly exciting for me because I, I cut my teeth in an apprenticeship as well 20 years ago. I just love that lineage of passing it forward. I um, took an apprenticeship at an amazing homestead, four acre operation in the Santa Cruz Mountains called Camp Joy. It started in 1967 by Jim Nelson. He's a mentor of mine and really taught me a lot about building community and food and really direct relationship. Within the words of agriculture, there's a really important one called culture. In order for us to keep and build culture, we need to bring our community to the table and ultimately into the production and experience of, of growing food. Education for all ages is really what this place is about, is modeling creative solutions for thriving on planet Earth. So we can't do any of the things we're doing without your help, so please visit theecologycenter.org, find out how you can get involved, come volunteer, consider making a donation. Um, every bit helps, so we appreciate your support. Thank you. <laughs>